Hello guys, guys, welcome back to Study Plan Programming Skills Day 9, the second problem for today. So, decrypt string from alphabet to integer mapping. We are given a string S formed by digits and hash. We want to map S to English lowercase says characters as follow. So, characters A to E are represented by 1 to 9 respectively. Characters G to Z are represented by 10 hash to 26 hash respectively. So, return the string format after mapping. The test cases are generated so that a unique mapping will always exist. For the example one, we have S equal to 10 hash, this is a G. And 11 hash, this is a K. And 1 is A, 2 is B. Okay, so let's solve the problem. First, let's make a function convert to convert a number into a character because I'm lazy to write any characters any hash that could contain the all the all six twenty six characters so let's return num plus all of a minus one so in this function we are given a number and we are returning so okay if we are if we are given one we are returning a if we are returning if you are given two we are returning b if we are given 26 we are returning z okay now let's build our main function let's make our answer equal to empty characters and let's make n equal to the length of our string and we need also a equal to zero so while e is smaller than the length in this case let's check if e plus 2 exists so it is let's let's check if e is smaller than n minus 2 to not get out of range and s of e plus 2 is equal to hash if it is the case so we are now in this case and we want to make our answer equal to answer plus convert s e until e plus 2 and let's increase our e by 3 because let's see if we are here we find this guy which is a g and if we are here our e is here so now we want to jump into this number to continue converting the, the the string into the numbers into string so we are jumping in three that's why we make e equal to e plus three okay so otherwise else answer should be equal to answer plus convert of se and we increase e just by one this in this type finally let's return our answer so it's so clean. Let's run the code. Okay. And let's solve this. Okay, I hope this video was useful for you. And see you soon, hopefully.